prep to the staccato after the rest um, so you have to give that same kind of prep after a legato note that's the challenge so trying to prep while you're still in motion as opposed to coming from at rest so try to get that same preparatory gesture <laughs> okay, well, um, I thought it was a little bit just like, like not in the same time as you were playing before. Does that make sense? Um, it's, so you have to really like make sure that if you want it to be clear, you have to give them like, the, it is 7.35 in the morning. Sorry. Um, what am I trying to say, Will? I was fixing the camera. I was listening. Sorry. <laughs> I understand. Like, it, yeah. it wasn't in time. It was kind of stopped. Right. Yeah. You want to? Uh, My big theory is if um if you give the prep, you should be able to. I mean, this sounds weird, but like if you disappear, they should still be able to play in time. Like your prep is already indicating when that downbeat's going to happen. And in my opinion, all you can do as a conductor is mess that up. You, know, you give the prep. And then you want to wait and make it ambiguous for everyone to wait for you. Then it's ambiguous, like I think Kyle's saying. So make sure the prep is just in time. Da, 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 you know, so. Can you just do the last two measures? Sure.
Yeah, that's so much better. Did you feel a change there? Yeah. And I don't think the tempo increased. Like sometimes it feels like that when someone says lead, you just want to go faster and then they are trying to follow you, I guess. Sure. Um, but I thought you just did a better job of leading and it just felt less lethargic and more, you know, corral like. Okay. Um, what did you guys think in the ensemble overall for Justin so far? Nice. Grads? You're a little distant. I feel like we never talk anymore, Justin. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we're out of time. Come back here. I'll talk with you. Uh, Nelson, you're up. Logan, you're.